Hey guys, this is an HP OfficeJet Pro 8125 and in today's video we're going to access the inside of this printer. The reason for it is if you need to repair or clean up inside of the printer, uh, get access to main board or your print head and it is not very easy if you have this panel over here. I'm going to show you how to remove this panel, how to get to it without breaking your printer. This model is similar to others such as 9130s and 8130 therefore whatever we do with this 8125 model is going to be the same for those that i mentioned please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and let's get started we're gonna need a torx size 10 screwdriver tip in order to do this and also a flathead screwdriver First thing that we want to do is unplug the printer, but if you want to unlock your print head and have it kind of uh, not locked in this position, you would need to turn the printer on, wait for this to get unlocked and move over for the uh, print head carrier, and then unplug the printer that will keep it there. Be very careful if you unlock it and then you have the printer off, you don't want to move the carrier right and left quickly because you may damage the electronic components of the uh, printer or the print head, which is pretty expensive to replace. We're going to go on this side first and we have this support arm. We're going to grab a flathead screwdriver, insert into the middle of the support arm and over this little um, square right here and then just push it towards us and that releases the arm and that lets us to open the back cover in a 90 degree position. Then uh, put it against the wall so it doesn't fall backwards. Remove this paper path cover and now we have access to all the screws that we need to remove. So any hole that you see here that's going to hold um, a screw. And we can just go ahead and start removing each one. Some are a little bit deeper, like this one in here up front. Make sure you grab all the screws. You don't want them to fall inside of your printer. Uh, even though you will be able to have access to them, you just don't want to lose them inside and then not find it. It's just the unnecessary headache. There we go. So just the three screws here, that releases this side cover. You see that is being removed easily with the screws removed. If you think you got all the screws removed, but the panel is not coming up, that means there's more screws. So here, and now you can see that the panel just goes up without problems there. So unlatch right here, and that should be able to release the cover. Keep in mind there are wires attached on this side. To remove those wires or disconnect them, you're just going to lift this panel like that. And like tilt it on its side. So it's going to go in like this here and So it goes in like this, and then the panel will go down. So we remove this one, and we can just disconnect this top panel right here, and this wire over here. Okay, so those are the only two that we're holding it down, and you should be able to just insert them later fairly easily. Right there. 
Okay, so basically we have access to everything inside the printer now. Um, you can see the main board right here. This is the wireless card. Um, timing strip is right here. If you have vertical blank lines and misalignment problems, this strip right here, it's kind of clear, is the one to clean. Be very gentle with it though. You have access to the ink cartridges and the print head. If that's giving you problems or if it's stuck, you can always remove cartridges and remove these springs right here to release the print head and check out what's wrong with it. If you're having problems with like paper jams and stuff, you can uh, look inside here, see if there's any paper. It definitely with this panel removed, you have way more access now to all the things here. And hopefully that gives you enough and you're able to clean this area. If the timing strip detached at one point, you can reattach it right there. So there's a hook right here that holds this film strip kind of thing. And another hook on this side. So all, everything is pretty much accessible from this point. And that will give you opportunity to do maintenance on this printer or repairs. We have the, all the connections to all the you know functions of, of this printer. For example, this is the scanner wire right here. Um, also has the power button wire right there. So, you know, you can just work on it and you can get, get to know your printer a little bit better. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and put everything back. This is the side panel that we removed. And don't put it back on. I just want to show you how it goes. It goes in like this here and you're just going to slide it under there and uh, put it back. But first, we need to connect the two wires that we uh, disconnected when we removed the cover. So all we do is put this panel back like so. So this plastic part goes right under these hinges right here. And you don't want to force anything just let it slide in where it was now we're going to connect the two wires so this one goes right over here it just slides with this part down into here okay that's connected insert it fully and then we're going to connect this. And we had this cord connected to this uh, connection, right? The port over here. So kind of like that. Let's loop it back where it was. And then we're going to connect it over here. Simple as that. Now we can put this back like so, slightly lift the panel and just drop it in there. So if everything is correct here, well, we need to make sure this is in the right place, which you see this right here, it goes inside of here. Sorry, my vocabulary is very <laughs> small. Um, so there. That needs to be in there, just like, just like so. So this hinge kind of assembly, so when you close it, it closes without a problem. And the sensor needs to read that door is closed, so everything here needs to be put back properly. Seems like it's all good to go. Now we can put all the screws back.
make sure this side is also snapped in. Okay, I think we got them all. Oh, so now we can go ahead and put this back. So all you do is just align it with the control arm or the support arm and then snap it in like so and you're good to go oh and then don't forget this this just lights in here like so now let's go ahead and plug it in and see how we did okay seems like this is working so we were able to connect that properly but that's how you remove the panel and then put it back in. It really is not that hard. Just take your time. Don't uh, lose anything inside of there. And hopefully you can get your printer fixed and uh, cleaned, whatever you needed to do with it. I really hope that this video was helpful for you or entertaining. If it was, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and have yourself a great day.